Hello everyone, I am Yash Patel and welcome to my channel Django World. So from past few videos, we have been using this normal serializer, right? And we have written this update and create function by our own and this code seemed to be pretty lengthy. Okay. And uh, if we have, you know, database with more fields, then you need to write all the fields and it would, you know, increase your code length. Okay. So to reduce this, we have model serializer okay so model serializer will reduce your line of code plus it will populate all your feeds automatically okay to show you let me open website so here is that website just go to django rest framework.org and in api guide you will see serializers okay click here and you will see this model serializer okay so here they have given an example okay you can see this so we are going to create class like this only but before that i'll just scroll up and here you can see serializer.py so i'll just right click and open in new tab now here i will just find class model okay now in comments here in comments you can read that uh, by this class comes with uh, create and update by default okay and this will automatically you know populate all the fields and this has few default validators too so what are validation i will show you in upcoming two videos okay because in next video we are going to see class based view and after that we are going to see validation okay i will show you there so if i scroll down then you can see we have this create function okay then if i scroll more then you can see we have update function so we don't need to write th these two functions by our own so here what i'm going to do is i'll just comment this function and i will say simple serializer okay just to understand okay and you can take this code from github i have posted all the code so here i will create new class so i'll say class i'll keep this name only because i don't want to change this name everywhere so i'll just keep similar name and here i'll say serializer dot model serializer now here if i go back here then you can see not here in model serializer okay here you can see we have one another class which is known as meta and in meta we have model and fields okay so here i will say class meta with capital m okay and here i will say fields not not field but model which will be blog and here i will say fields and in double quotation i will say underscore underscore all underscore underscore so this will basically bring all the fields which are present in this model okay so i will just save these changes come over here my server is been refreshed okay now i will open this all blocks i am using this rapid api okay you can use any client you want but i'm using rapid api because it is pretty handy so here i will try to make get request okay so i have done post i'll try to get make get request okay so we have got this successful response okay now here i'll just copy this and i will try to make post request so i'll select post from this drop down i'll go to body and here i'll paste that now instead of facebook i can say react okay react js and here instead of this nice social media i can say nice programming language okay and uh, instead of this date i can just leave it blank or i can remove it okay and if i send this send request okay so you can see we got this 
response our id is 5 we have this blog name as react.js description date and time published and this log okay so if i send get request again then you can see i got this two blocks okay so our post request is also working very fine okay now here uh, i have done one more mistake so when i am sending this uh, post request here i am sending this status code as 200 okay but here it should be 201 created okay because we are creating an object okay we are not returning predefined object so please change this status code okay so rest all things is fine now here one more thing see i have this post date and all those things but what if i want to hide some fields from here so what i can do over here is that um, i need to remove this uh, underscore underscore all notation and here i need to pass list okay so i'll say list and i need to give field names individually this is method one okay description then i need to pass is public and slug okay if i do this thing and send get request again then you can see the post date has been gone because we have not specified that over here and um, if you don't want to do this thing then you can we, you can write exclude exclude equals to you can pass list and you can mention field name which you want don't want in the response something like this send and you can see it written same response but to understand just let me hide slug field okay i'll hide slug if i send get request again then you can see slug field has been removed okay so if you don't want to do this then you can do this okay both both of them is going to work just fine i hope you got idea but let me do one more thing um i will just remove this and write underscore underscore all underscore underscore so when you refer this code you might understand okay so i hope you got idea about this uh, model serializer so let me see another thing if i need to show you no nothing else okay so yeah this is it for this uh, model serializer and you can test put and post request by your own like put and delete request not post request we have tested this post request it is working fine and i hope both all you know this uh, put and uh, delete request will also work fine okay you can test by your own and if you get any error please let me know in comments i will definitely try to help you i don't want this video to be long that's why i am not testing those two fields because i know it is going to work fine okay so yeah this is it for today's video guys if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and in next video we are going to see class based view okay so thank you